Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we're having a look at the Corsair H100. This is the updated version from the famous Corsair H100. This is a all-in-one CPU cooling solution, uh, water cooling. So basically it's all included, it doesn't need any maintenance or nothing like that. So it's just plug and play as per se. So with this new unit, Corsair is actually a uh, Modify slightly, um, and now you can see the difference. You got the I. This I actually means supports Corsair Link, and Corsair Link means basically just a software that uh, allows Corsair um, hardware to communicate between them, and uh, basically allows you to see the temperature, the coolant, adjust um, pump um, RPMs and fan RPMs, and check out the um, CPU uh, temperatures and stuff like that. Um, software based, but we'll go into that. I'll do a separate video just for the Corsair Link software. So, uh, basically, there you go. You can have a look at the unit now, which is uh, slightly different now from the previous one. And if I just uh, show you, if you can just see there, there's the Corsair there pump, and now you can you probably cannot see the radiator there. But there's also the tubing, you can just see the tubing, just a plastic thing and um, on this one it's just basically slightly uh, wider which allow for more fluent for more um, coolant to go by and obviously better temps so uh, there you go um, I believe it supports um, AMD and Intel and the only Intel that doesn't support is the LGA775 apart from that supports all the Intel um, CPU sockets including 2011 same for the AMD one so uh, what I'm going to do now is just fill up the box and probably uh, if you pause it probably best for you so there's the English one there you can just read it uh, on the side of course the H100 at the back so of course uh, it actually puts uh, a couple of the graphs, so again, there you go, so this was the sockets supported, no 775 unfortunately, and as far as I'm aware, I, I don't know if there is any sort of uh, bracket for it that Corsair uh, allows you for a 775, whether that's possible or not, best just check with our Corsair forums. So uh, there you go, there's the contents of it. The color itself, a start guide, got a link cable, uh, two SP120L fans, it's basically the same as uh, these fans that comes with this unit, it's the same as these fans, the famous Corsair SP ones, the only difference is with the ones on the unit you don't actually get these rings, as you can see them there, and um, yeah, so there you go, or even for uh, a better show, um, that's what they actually look like. The stem rings, it comes with three rings, you go white, red and blue. But anyway, they're essentially the same fans. They are basically the same, just with other rings. So anyway, pause the video, let's uh, get cracking and open this box. So you open the box, you get greeted by a uh, manual. So uh, basically showing the steps. How to do it, how to mount it, all that good stuff. Yep, it's good. Uh, Corsair guides, as far as I can tell, is just uh, advertising the products. Yep, a bit of foam, good. Closed cell foam, good for the transportation. And uh, so, this way we'll have a look at the unit. So, Corsair cable, plus all the brackets and uh, other stuff that you need to mount it. Over here we have the warranty, it's always good having that. And uh, anyway, if you, uh, as I've always been saying, Corsair, uh, that customer service is just second to none, best in business, really. So um, even if you're having problems with the retailer that you purchase your unit from, um, just contact Corsair directly and they will happily um, deal with it. Even if you're Retailer or e-tailer is not want to know about it. Contact Corsair directly. So here you can have a look at it. Oh, for some strange reason, there's already some screws there. 
Mm. Another fan. There you go. And now we're going to look at the unit itself. So let's uh, get it out if we can. I've already had this open. Uh, thermal compounds not on it. As, uh, I've already had this uh, installed on my test uh, brick. So this is just is the pump unit, pump view block combo. You can tell now. I don't know what the light can do, but tubing is a lot thicker now. Probably um, one quarter thick, which makes it a lot better. Still the same um, 25mm thick and uh, all um, aluminium. Not uh, as a water cooling solution, it's probably used uh, copper ones, the same as that bad boy there. That's uh, all copper, the Swift Tech, but that's for another video. But uh, yeah, this one's aluminium, all the aluminium fins. And uh, yeah, so there you go guys, just a quick look at it. And, um, I shall be doing um, a few more videos about this, basically with um, H100 high versus the um, H100. And you can just see there, oh by the way, this Corsair logo that you can see here, this is um, RGB, so basically it's LED color. And within the um, Corsair Link software, it allows you to set up whatever colors you want, red, blue, white. So, which is really, really cool. And while the previous one, you only got the speeds and it just lights up um, depending what speed you got the pump going in the fans. Just ramp up. So, uh, there you go. Basically, the radiator the same. They just upgraded the hoses and the pump unit, whether it's the more powerful one. I'm not quite sure. But um, I've done a few tests with it. And uh, I shall tell you if there is any, any improvements for it in here. You got the connection for your Corsair Link software, and uh, this Corsair Link software just plugs into your uh, motherboard, so it gets detected by the um, Corsair Link software. Same with the um, Corsair-based power supply with the i. I so uh, within the software, I'll be able to have the Corsair um, H1 and i and the power supply working in conjunction. So there you go, guys. Um, that's just a quick unboxing to show you the products and uh, look forward for um, a set of videos I shall be doing uh, with the H100i versus the H100 um, temperatures and um, yeah so uh, if you haven't already please subscribe really helps me a lot and uh, like share subscribe any questions use it in the comment section below and uh, catch you guys in the next video see ya